Well, listeners, it's great to be able to introduce to you tonight my son Steve, who has come up uh, for a few days to uh, be with us for a holiday, come up from Edinburgh area, and uh, he has released his first EP uh, called Heart and Sound EP, which we have played a few tracks here over the last few weeks. And so it's great to have him in the studio and to talk to him about his work and his um, you know, his writing and, and what it's about. Now, Steve, welcome to Highest Praise. Thank you. And, you know, you're going to sing a song for us tonight. I know that because I've asked you to. Uh, what song would you like to sing? I'm going to sing a song of my new EP called Full Circle. What's behind Full Circle? Well, uh, back in 2005, um, we planted a church in Teesside in the north of England. And about a year or so ago, we, we got to the point where the, the church was getting quite successful and it was getting really busy and so as a leadership we we took a weekend away at centre parks and uh, just for like three days we three days we just waited on God and just seeing what what was going to happen with the church make some big decisions about buildings and payment and things like that and um, I was just getting a bit sort of I could feel uh, you know in my spirit that everything was just getting so busy and it, church had almost become a bit religious to me mm. religion is anything where you're adding to Jesus. If it's the church are doing it and it doesn't involve Jesus, it's religion. So having a building, that's religion. Worshipping Jesus, that's Christianity. And um, I, I got to this place where I just wanted to come back full circle. It was almost like I was saying to God, I can remember when it was just me and you and we just had this amazing relationship and I'd just tell everyone about God. We didn't have all church politics and all this. And so I sat down, I was just praying and I just sort of wrote this song in 10 minutes, just sort of did it out of my heart really. So that's where it came from. Well, that's great. I mean, if you wrote it in 10 minutes and it really came quickly, then I would have imagined it was from the Holy Spirit that was yeah, leading. Some people might say it shows. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, anyway, why don't you sing this for us just now and then we'll have a little chat after. So, take it away, Steve. Okay. Coming back for circle. Back to where I'm from Where I belong I'm coming back to Jesus I'm coming home To you alone I, I remember How it to be just you and me oh, oh. I, I, I surrender everything to be just you and me longing for your presence where I can dwell in the holy place Usher in your glory where I can bow and seek your face I, I remember how it used to be Just you and me Oh, oh. I, I, I Surrender Everything to be Just you and me I'm coming back I'm running back to you I'm coming back, I'm running back to you, I'm coming back, I'm running back to you, I'm coming back, I'm running back to you, 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 Jesus, you. I, I remember how it used to be. Oh, 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 I, 
high I surrender everything to be just you and me thanks Steve that was that was great uh, you know listeners um, sometimes uh, it's true that you know we take our eyes off Jesus and uh, we've got to come back again all the trappings of daily life just gets in the way and there was one little word in that song surrender which means everything Steve uh, you've I think surrendered a lot as well I mean you talking about a church that you started and you planted in Stockton and Tees and now you've moved up to Edinburgh and you just felt that this was God is talking to you and telling you to move up there. I mean, you had no yes, job. Right. Yeah. You know, what, what's your plans for the future? What do you think God's doing and leading? Well, we, we've uh, moved up, my wife and I, Hannah, and her parents, we've moved up to uh, launch a church in September. And um, we're going to call it Commission Church. Um, and the reason being is um, we just really felt that um, God was calling us to go out. And I feel like the church sort of globally really seems to be changing right now. It's like... Um, there's a lot of talk of the apostolic, and people sometimes mm-hmm. don't really understand what apostles are. But um, pastors basically gather. They gather people to themselves, but apostles send out. And mm-hmm. we, we realize that you know, there is a great commission, and we've done church since 2005, and we've raised up a new leadership in Teesside and handed yeah. the church over to them. But we've really sort of changed our focus from the gathering to the sending out, and so we feel called to Edinburgh to come up and, and build a church that will send out and to be outward-focused mm-hmm. and... Um, the last church, we did a lot of uh, reaching out to the community and a lot of community work. Um, but I think this time around, I think we're going to be reaching out further to the ends of the earth, hopefully. And um, so, yeah, so that's, that's where we're at right now. We're stepping out in faith and um, we, we're starting to see people join us already, even before we've launched. So that's really good and uh, just really excited for the future. So it's the Great Commission, really. That's yeah, it is, basically. Yeah. It's the Great Commission. And uh, I think you're right that uh, too many are stuck inside four walls mm. in, in the churches today and they're not looking outside, they're thinking for themselves and there's a community that needs our help. Well, it needs God's help, to That's be quite right. honest. Yeah. And uh, we should be the light that brings them. Well, thanks, Steve, for coming in and um, you know, singing the song to us, explaining what it's about. And, you know, because you're living so near now, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I'm sure you'll be back over the few months, next few months, yeah, and you can right. let us know how things are, are going on. Yeah, so yeah. bless you in your work that you're doing there. Thank you. So thanks again for coming on to Highest Praise. We look forward to the next time.